This interview with Tweedy Carter, former Baylor star assistant coach, is brought to you on the Richard Carr Baylor Bear Hotline. So, Tweedy Carter, it is March Madness tournament. Starts, of course, this week. Baylor Friday against uh, Colgate. Does everything increase like you hear in pros, like the regular season to the postseason? Does it go up this week? Um, I, I think so. Um, you know, especially when you're going into March Madness, March Madness because everybody knows you lose when you go home. So, the intensity, the pre- preparation, and you can't underestimate anybody. So, they, you know, Colgate is a really tough team. You know, they're in a the tournament, so you got to respect them and come ready to play. So sure. you're you're coaching now and have been. It's not like you haven't been, but how much of a challenge was it initially for a guy that made things look easy, even though there was a tremendous amount of hard work <laughs> involved? But you help, help you know, you kind of help kickstart what is the standard at Baylor. Uh, it, was it an, was it difficult for you who uh, you were so good at what you did to try to communicate that to players? Um, I think that the same approach as I took as a young player coming into Baylor, um, just seeking knowledge, I think, uh, you know, helped me as a player. And I think, you know, going about it the same way as a coach, with all the experience we have on staff, you know, why not come in and seek knowledge right away? to make your job a lot easier you know um always a tough adjustment doing something you haven't done but I felt like you know as a player leading and and um you know training when I was when, when I was coming back in the summers and stuff like that dealing with younger kids and coming into this and being around Baylor in general made this uh coaching thing is a lot a lot easier for me because I've been around I know the guys and like I said the staff do a tremendous job helping me understand a lot of things that I may have questions about and they make it a lot easier for me. So I'm really blessed in that area. How do you react when you see an unforced error by a guard? Uh, not, I don't react much because I know they're not doing it intentionally. Um, you know, you just try to help them, um, hope that they can make better decisions, you know, moving forward. But it's it's not a big reaction. It's, It's more so letting them know that they're, you know, making simple mistakes you can't allow, especially at this time of March, of March Madness. Do you feel like that because of what I call the battering ram of the Big 12, and other conferences have top to bottom pretty good too, we know that, but uh, there are no off nights. There are even West Virginia, Oklahoma State could take people down to the wire, and you experienced that uh, in a way with yeah. both. It, it, do you feel like it's kind of refreshing to get away from playing somebody at least early on against in the Big 12 and play somebody else in a new face? Uh, the Big 12 is always tough, and you got to appreciate it because, you know, when you're in the Big 12, you're really playing March Madness games throughout your, throughout uh, the Big 12 season, regular season, and conference tournament. So it kind of helps you get prepared. But most definitely, um, you know, but, but that's what I'm saying. You know, you, we, we, got, we have to look at Colgate the same way. Um, we have to come in with that, with that mind frame. We're playing another tough team. We, we're going to be in a dogfight. Let's just come ready to play. And God willing, be God willing so, on that. Yeah, no, it, you're right, because that's why March Madness, in the end, it's a national champion. Everyone remembers whoever wins it last year, UConn, 21 Baylor. After that was KU. But March Madness is known for the teams that stun the world, even though if they're pretty good, even though if they're a high seed, whatever conference they come from. Is that is that what motivates everybody, no matter the school this week? Yes, I agree. Um, I think, you know, you're going to have some upsets. And you just try not to let it be you on those situations. But, you know, you got to come ready to play, man, and, and do your homework and study film. And, you know, the staff going to do whatever we need to do to make sure that they're prepared. And they got to continue to do their job. And I think they've been doing a heck of a job of uh, making sure that they're prepared. And, you know, now we, we're getting ready to go to war uh, for March Madness. And we're all looking forward to it. You know, you think about as, as a point guard or just it doesn't matter what sport, what position, what level, focus on every single pitch or possession or whatever uh, snap. Is that is that possible to be that focused on every single part of the game? I mean, if you look at the Big 12 for us, that's what we used to one possession games. So if, if, if throughout the whole season you're having one possession games throughout the Big 12, you know, you got to take it serious. And, and that's just, it's that much of a detail to pay attention to every possession. And, you know, mistakes will happen. You know, you always want to limit them. You know, people is going to – they're, they're going to score. You always want to limit easy opportunities. 
And I think if we, we can do all those things, um, you know, it'll help it'll play in our favor for sure. Tweedy Carter, former Baylor great, and, and I say former Baylor great, and then also a part of the Scott Drew staff, and you've mentioned the staff. Some of them have been yes, around sir. a long, long time. How have they, and it's not, this is not your first year, but how have they uh, welcomed you and helped you or allow you to pick their brain and given you suggestions yes. and then again allowed you to be you? Yes, and uh, I mean a lot of them have their own way of going about things, and that's what that's what the beauty is about learning from these guys is that you can learn different things from each 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 coach, and you know just going to them and talking to them, making it easy to go talk to them. I think is the, the biggest thing because you know sometimes when you want to have certain conversations can be uncomfortable, but you know this staff don't make it uncomfortable for me. Whether it's a simple question or a question they have to think about, they always have an answer for me, and they always want to help you know, each and every one of us get better. And I think that's the that's the beauty in this staff is that everybody is on one accord and, you know, trying to do whatever they can to help the players and help the staff be successful How and much, help this program be successful. How much have you seen a change, not in his personality, but his confidence, who he was always, you know, he said from the beginning Baylor was going to compete for a national championship, and we know they have mm-hmm. and did it. How much have you seen Coach Drew change when you were a player to where you are now? Um, you know, that look in Coach Drew's eyes when I seen him on that on that podium, you know, meant the world to me because I knew he was serious. And, you know, like you just said, he accomplished that. And, you know, I think his hard work consistently um, now is, is unbelievable. Um, but as a coach, you know, the, the change, you know, I, I always tell him, I said, you was hard on us back then, but I always mess with him, but he's he he's the same way to me. Um, he get on guys when he need to, um, you know, talk to guys when he have to. You know, that's that's always a great thing to to, to have a coach that's willing to always communicate with with the players. And I think these guys respect that a lot because not all coaches have that 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 communication with every player on the team. And so, you know, coach bringing that energy, I think, help uh, settle everybody down, including the staff. Is it, um, I want to say underrated, is there a, sometimes people don't realize if Coach Drew needs to get a point across, he's absolutely not afraid to do it, and he can get pumped, excited, focused, uh, <laughs> you know, angry without losing his cool. Have, is, is, yeah. is that something that people maybe don't quite know about him? Uh, I, I, would, uh, I would say, yes, they don't. A lot of people don't know. Coach Drew is very, very tough. And very, very, he's a tough competitor at that. Uh, he wants to win in everything. Everything that he does, he he, he really takes that approach. And, you know, to feed that knowledge on to the staff and the players, I think is a great thing because, you know, playing for him as a player, I was very, very confident because of him. He believed in me. And I think I, I see the same thing with the guys now and with the staff. So he believes in you. He wants you. He's going to always push you to be the best you could be. And I think that's what you got to appreciate about appreciate about Coach Drew the most is that he's always the same, but he's very, very competitive and he's tougher than than everybody give him. I tell you that. So before the end of the year, when you had Kansas at home, Texas at home on a Monday, and then you turned around and went to Lubbock, that didn't go well. But those last three games, John Jacobs told me that Coach Drew did a very passionate, um, inspiring uh, speech to the team about. March Madness, the grind of March Madness. What did he say? And had you seen him do that to you back in the day? Uh, yes, he always have a speech for March Madness. Um, you know, and, and the biggest message is don't take anybody for granted. You know, come out and let's play our Baylor basketball and know that we've been prepared for this throughout our Big 12 season, um, you know, and things like that. And he always try to find a way to keep us motivated. And, you know, I, I think that's, that's smart, um, you know, because – None of it, he's, he's not making up any of it. You know, everything that he talks about happened. You know, we make it to uh, March Madness my, in 2008, and we get beat first round to Purdue. You know, those things happen if you don't come ready to play. If you are happy to be somewhere, you don't, you don't focus well enough, you can get sent home quick. And I think that's the biggest message that he's trying to pass on is that we have to be focused, um, you know, from now on until we play. Uh, Colgate, you know, because it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a game where you don't want to look back and say, I wish I would have did this and I wish I would have did that. You know, um, like I said, getting prepared uh, 
for Colgate is has been everything um, for us this week. Focus on us a little bit, and then start getting prepared for Colgate. Everybody else you play, the coaching staff, they're all good. Everybody's good. Hall of Famers that are part of the Big 12 and elsewhere. But with the staff that you have and you're a part of that and the experience, how often do you guys see something that you didn't expect? Um, you know, I think I think you find out something different about the game every time you play. Um, every time you practice, we practice a lot more than we play. So we see uh, we see a lot of things that we can get better at through practices and try to emphasize it through the games. And then after the game, you find out different things that you can possibly get better at, um, you know. And that's the, that's the approach I think everybody takes is always trying to figure out how to get better, even if it's something small, the details of it. And, uh, you know, Coach A.B. always say, same old boring habits. And I think if you can have those things, those same old boring habits, I think it allow you to prepare a totally different way for any team that you're going to face. How hard is it or difficult has it been with Langston Love in and out? He comes back, he gets hurt, he comes back, he can't finish, he can't play the next game, he couldn't play in Kansas City. And I know that what he brings to the table is a, a physicality and also experience, and he's good. He can score and defend. How hard or difficult has it been, the challenge of him not being able to be consistently in the lineup? Uh, it's always hard uh, for for a player like Langston Love to be missed. Um, like you know, that's that's a really really good player, like you just mentioned. And you know, when you when you can't have it, it's always you know, like man, I wish Langston Love was out here. But at the end of the day, you know, that's when his he expects his teammates, Langston Love expects his teammates to step up and fill his shoes. And that's what we've been doing these last couple games without him. Um, Dave is doing an amazing job with Langston. Um, just can't wait for Dave to, to say, you know, he's ready to go. Mm-hmm. And we just praying for him. And, you know, he's a tough kid and a great leader for us. And we're just excited to have him on the team and having to be a part of the team. But, you know, a, a player like Langston is always missed for sure when he's not on the floor. Tweedy Carter, do players come to you more for basketball questions and information or for things about life? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, and I, and I, I take that to heart. Um, you know, these guys are awesome. They always ask some questions. They always seeking knowledge. And, you know, I learn from them a lot. Sometimes I ask those guys questions, you know. Um, and I think th- that that family atmosphere that we have here at Baylor now is, is just unbelievable because those guys are always trying to get better. They don't take much. They don't take things personal. And that's always fun to be around and be able to uh, give uh, you know, criticism to them on how to get better and what they, what they need to improve on. And they take it well and they try to do those things. So, you know, I think our staff do a great job of, you know, talking to them, talking to all the players and trying to figure out how to be better um, for the players and the players figure out how to, how to be better on the court um, for this program. And I think everybody's trying their hardest to, to be better each and every day. So we all learn from each other. How do you describe how fast the game is in front of you where you're not really in control of it because you're not out there with the ball? So you have to watch it happen. How fast is all that going on in front of you? Um, it's, it's At first, when I first uh, got on staff, you know, it was a little different, um, you know, watching it. But now I'm settled into my role on the team, and I really enjoy watching them play. So it's not it's not as fast as it was when I first came on, but – now everything's slowing down, and, you know, I just really enjoy watching them play. But sometimes, you know, i got to uh, refocus and make sure I'm, I'm looking at things that I could help them whenever coach, you know, call a timeout or it's a media timeout, um, just making sure I'm on point uh, to, to share some information and knowledge uh, with the players and the staff. Baylor goes past this weekend and beyond because of what? Of why? Well, well I'm going to tell you this. We're going to stay prayed up. And we got one game on Friday, and that's all we're thinking about right now is Colgate because this is a tough team um, that you that we very much respect, and you know we're going to do our job and preparing for them, and hopefully God bless us to, to to play fast Friday. But Friday is the main focus right now. What toothpaste do you use, Colgate or something else? <laughs> <laughs> that is a great question. That is a great question. I'm 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 not into. Uh, 
I don't know ex- exactly the name of my toothpaste because my wife buys it. So <laughs> you probably would have to call my wife, David. On that one. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I sat there and said I was a Crest guy. I went home last <laughs> night, brushed my teeth before going to bed. I went, damn, that's Colgate. I mean, <laughs> all there I you know- go. I know my, my wife buys everything in that house. So Absolutely. there you go. Tweety, uh, great, man, always great to talk to you. Good luck with what you guys do to prep for Colgate uh, as you move forward at the game on Friday. Appreciate your time. No, no problem. Appreciate you having me. Tweety Carter, Baylor Basketball, 365 Sports. And from Tweety 